Yeah, so at Stitch Fix, we didn't have product managers. Uh, so the organization that had product managers, so I was, you know, my team, we were, we were our own product managers. Um, uh, so it would have, you know, you could say, so you could, that's where I spent you know, some of my time is, yeah, trying to talk to people, managers, ICs, understand pain points, but also understand, you know, what's, what's going to be valuable from business and where we should be kind of, uh, you know, spending time. It is a good thing and at the same time challenging that you're dealing with people who are technically savvy, uh, they're engineers, they can code, they, they, they can think in an abstract way. So very often what you hear the first, like the first iteration, the feature request is actually solution. You don't hear the problem, right? So I like, I like this test and maybe other, uh, ML platform teams can learn from it. Do you have it on production? Is it something that works or is it something that you plan to, <laughs> To move to production one day uh, as a first filter. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this. <laughs> so, so you know, I mean, you brought back memories. You know, like, yeah, there's, a, there's a hey, can you do this? Like, okay, so what's the problem? Yeah, that is, that is actually that is the one thing you have to learn uh, to, uh, to be your first reaction whenever someone uh, is using your platform. Asks is like, yeah, what is what is the actual problem? Because it could be that they're uh, you know uh, trying to they they found a hammer and they want to they want to you know use that particular hammer for that particular task, but really. Um, uh, so for example, yeah, like, uh, we had, a, uh, they want to do hyper parameter op optimization. They were asking for it, for it, like, can you do it this way? And but stepping back, we were like, Hey, we can actually do it at a little higher level. So you don't have to think at this kind of, you don't, we don't, wouldn't have to engineer it. And so in which case super important question to always ask, yeah, what is, what is the actual problem you're trying to solve? And therefore, you know, uh, and therefore then you can kind of then also ask, yeah, what is the business value? How important is this, et cetera, to really know like how to prioritize it. So we have learned how you, how you've been dealing with data scientists coming to you <laughs> for features, uh, how the the like the uh, second part of the communication work? How did you encourage or make people teams follow what you've developed, what 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 you propose them to do? How did you set the standards? in the organization yeah um so ideally with any initiative we had we found a, a particular use case a narrow use case or in team who needed it and would adopt it and would use it when we when we kind of uh, uh you know developed it nothing worse than developing something and no one using it uh that looks bad you know managers like who's using it you know uh so one is ensuring that you have a clear use case and someone who has the need and wants to partner with you um and then only once that's successful we'll start to think about broadening it because uh, one, you can use them as like the use case and story. Uh, so this is where ideally you have, you know, weekly, bi-weekly share outs. So we had uh, what was called algorithms, uh, uh, like you say, beverage minute, where essentially you could get up for a couple of minutes and kind of talk about things. And so, yeah, definitely had to live the dev tools evangelization internally because that's Stitch Fix. Uh, you know, it wasn't the data scientists, you know, had the choice to not use our tools if they didn't want to, if they wanted to engineer things themselves. So we had to, you know, definitely go around the route of like, we can take the, these pain points off of you. You know, you don't have to think about them. Here's here's what we've built. Here's a use. You know, here's someone who's using it, and they're using it for this particular use case. Um, I think you know. So therefore, awareness is is a big one, right? You got to make sure you know people know about the solution that that, that it is an option. Um, uh, documentation. So we actually had a little tool um, that enabled you to write Sphinx docs pretty easily. Um, so that was kind of you know uh, something that we ensured that for every kind of you know, model envelope other tool we kind of built you know Hamilton we we had kind of a Sphinx docs uh, set up so if people wanted to like we could point them to the documentation try to show snippets and things um, uh, the other is uh, from our experience and the kind of the telemetry that we put in um, uh, so one nice thing about platform is that you know we can put in as much telemetry as we want so we actually uh, uh, whenever on someone was using something uh, and there was an error you know, we would, we would get a Slack, Slack alert on it. And so we would try to be, um, you know, on, on top of that and like ask them and go like, what are you doing? Like maybe, and so try to engage them to ensure that they were successful and kind of doing things correctly. Uh, you can't do that with open source. Unfortunately, people, you know, it's slightly invasive. Um, uh, but, um, otherwise, you know, uh, most people are only willing to kind of adopt things, you know, maybe a couple of times a quarter. Right. And so it's just, you know, you need to have the thing in the right place, right time, uh, for them to kind of, w when they have that moment to be able to get started over the hump, since, you know, getting started is, usually, is the biggest challenge. And so therefore trying to, you know, find the documentation examples and ways to kind of, uh, make that as, as small as uh, a jump as possible. <laughs>